all-time goal is to play in the NBA and um, play professional basketball. But last year, I felt like I was rushing it. I wasn't patient enough. I wasn't, I was just trying to just leave and just go about it the wrong way. And the reason I came back was is because I, I got unfinished business here. I got things I want to accomplish. Uh, I want to win the Big Ten. I want to get to the Final Four. I want to show this team and show the guys that I'm so that I connect that I connect well with. I want to show them what that feeling is like, and that's my goal this year is to focus on that. I mean, the NBA is not going nowhere. Professional basketball is not going nowhere. I'm just focused on finishing up school, getting my master's degree, and just trying to win the Big Ten, trying to get this team to a Final Four. With it out front is Luke Lowy. He loses it. Oh, what a play by Gabe Brown! See, that's the leadership that Michigan State needs from him. He's getting the crowd fired up after that play. Great hands using his length. That might be the play of the game that turns this around in favor of Michigan State. When things get a little shaky, he usually plays his best. Bails his teammates out, becoming more of a vocal leader. He's a captain. A lot of pressure on him when you wear this uniform. The expectations are high. He's trying to raise everybody up to that next level that they know they can reach. Oh, an attack of the rim. I'm a big talkative guy. I bring a lot of energy to the room and things like that. So talking is no big deal to me. When I'm talking, sometimes I'm just talking just to talk, but it's getting guys going. It's getting guys to um, bring some more energy and bring some more things that they don't have inside themselves that I'm trying to bring out of them. Leadership is being a role model to others, being a guy that people can see that is doing the right things on and off the court and just taking my lead. I feel like leadership comes from both ways. You gotta be a leader when things are going bad, and you gotta be a leader when things are going good. For myself, I wanna have it when it's going bad because I wanna show guys that we can pick things up and I can be there for them each and every day. I think the true leaders are guys that don't just do the right thing themselves, but they help others to do the right thing. I get a lot of parents that say, well, my son leads by example, and I say, that's just not good enough. That means he's taking care of himself and I need him taking care of other people. Leadership is something that takes time. Because to lead, you gotta get people to trust you. And to get people to trust you, you gotta take time with them. And he's learning how to do that and I'm, uh, I'm proud of him for it. When he came to Michigan State, you could really see that he had the potential to be a guy that could, that could be a leader. Just because of his demeanor, his attitude, he can walk into a room and really kind of shape the room or control the room. He can demand the room or command the room when he comes in. And you kind of seen that when he came in uh, as a freshman with this, his antics and his energy. My mindset coming in was, I thought I was gonna take the world by storm. I thought I was gonna be one and done, uh, all American, Big Ten player of the year. I thought I was gonna go to the NBA and it didn't happen like that. Coach humbled me and it, it really helped me out for the greater good because it got me to this point in my life. But I came in as a goofy freshman, always wanted to have fun. I was immature a lot because I didn't really know anything. I had to adjust to school, the pace of basketball, coach is, all the coaches, my teammates. Hey. He's been through a lot losing his father in high school, you know, and, and everybody, adapts in a different way when a tragedy happens. And he's a very fun-loving guy. And I thought his first two years, he had to mature. Josh Langford helped me out a lot. And he was the guy that took me underneath his wing. He knew it because we had so many people and, and himself. He knew that I wasn't gonna be one of the guys that plays a lot and I had a lot to learn. But he always helped me out during the course of my years with him about just staying patient, staying calm, not letting everything get to me and just working. Looking at Josh, he worked harder than anybody I ever just seen, and I learned a lot from him. One of the hardest things to deal with when you come into college or anything new is expectation. And that brings a lot of pressure on you. And so I would just share with Gabe just my own experiences and how I adjusted what I didn't do well, what I felt like I did well. My whole thought process behind it was so he could just kind of get it quicker than I did. Because you know, a lot of times, you don't necessarily have anybody there with you, kind of walking with you and telling you based upon 
their experience. When I was in college my freshman year, it was Tom. Tom was the guy that kind of took me alongside me and Miles and just kind of showed us the ropes. And so that's kind of what I wanted to do with Gabe. And those are kind of the conversations we had it was just about expectations and staying encouraged. Hey, Dennis, you okay? Ah, it's all he wants to be a great player, so he works his tail off. He wants to be a good student. He's already graduated in three and a half years. He wants to be a good leader, and that may be the hardest one, because that skill is you can't just go in the gym and shoot. You can't just go in a book and study. You really have to acquire that skill. He's becoming a real good leader. He's even vocally, you know. The hardest thing about leadership to me is it's hard to lead if you're struggling yourself. So when you're playing good, you, know, you, gotta, you gotta be a real confident guy. You gotta be a Cassius, you gotta be a, a Denzel, you gotta be a Mateen Cleaves, you gotta be a Magic Johnson. You know, the real leaders, uh, Draymond Greens, they lead through adversity of their own problems. And uh, that's what Gabe is working towards right now. It was Eastern Michigan. I wasn't myself that game. Defensively, offensively, my energy, my attitude, and coach pointed me out. And that's when I knew I had to be better for this team because I can't be down in the dumps. I can't be a, a bad energy guy. I have to bring it every single day. And it just snapped in my mind like that. Like, wow, like he trusts me. He wants me to be this, that, and the third. I knew for myself and for him and for this team, if I want to win the things that I want to win and accomplish things that I want to accomplish, I got to be better. I knew I had to be a guy that had to score, had to be vocal, had to bring energy, had to rebound, had to do all the little things in order for us to win. And that's why he made me a captain. And that's what being a Spartan dog and being a captain is. I think he understands coach better. And I feel like that's kind of a struggle for everybody when they first come <laughs> because you just don't know why he is yelling the way he's yelling or why, why is he coaching you as hard as he's coaching you. But that just comes with maturity and really understanding, okay, this is what he's trying to get done. This is what he sees in me. He's not just saying this to me just to say it, but he has a reason behind it. He's a perfectionist, so he wants everything done the right way at the right time and winning. That's one thing that I learned throughout my four years is coach loves winning, and I love winning too, and he instilled that into a lot of players. Cash is one of the best point guards to ever play here. And there was just one moment that I'm gonna always remember with him, and he said, bro, there ain't nothing wrong with staying for four years. There's nothing wrong with waiting your time. There's nothing wrong with being patient. Professional basketball is what I want to do in the future, playing the NBA. The NBA ain't going nowhere, and that's what he made me realize. And made me just enjoy the moment that I'm in right now. I wish my dad could see this because this is what he envisioned. He had the blueprint. He had the vision to it all. And for him not to be here, it hurts me every day. It hurts me every every moment of my life. But it's just a blessing that I'm in this situation. Uh, I'm glad I got my brothers and my family that's able to watch this. But I mean, I still think about it all the time. His growth is coming at a very high rate right now, and it's fun to watch. It's just fun to watch a player become a better uh, human being, leader, because that's going to last a lot longer in life than just a better player. For myself, I just want to be a winner. I want to win every single game. I want to win in practice. I want to win on and off the court, but also I want to be a role model to others.